EA Sports. It's in the game. Hey, from the Midwest to the Southeast, Army, Navy, robbery game. EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> NCAA Football 2005. historic downtown San Antonio where many fans have gathered in the spirit of college football for this game. We're inside this dome stadium for tonight's matchup between the Colorado Buffaloes and the Nittany Lions of Penn State. Here come the Nittany Lions. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit here to carry out the mission of bringing you excellent commentary to match the great play we expect to see in this bowl game. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. Well, this one's going to come down to whoever can make the big play. Penn State needs to get the ball in the hands of their athletes. That means getting their running back maybe 25 or 30 touches today. If they do that, Lee, they'll take care of business. That's a nice pick. A nice pick. Colorado is looking to shut down this offense in this one. But let me tell you, maybe look somewhere else, because it's not going to happen here, and not against this team. That passing attack is just too good to be contained. We should have a return on this one. Number 10, pass it at the five. They'll take over at the 25. The Nittany Lions set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. He's looking for his man. It's deflected. Great range as he's able to break up the pass. I know that the safety makes a good play here, but as a receiver, you got to get in there and play some defense. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Number seven with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Third and ten. Ball on their own 25. Penn State sets up with four receivers. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. He's under the boot. Got hit as he threw. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going, and it's safe to say that's the case as he had zero completion. They send out the punting unit. Number 36 gets it off. He spins. Number 15 fields it at the 35. Now we'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. They'll get the ball here at the 44-yard line. Colorado in a four-wide set. He drops back. Across the middle. Got an opening. And he's tackled. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. 
The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. Uh. Here's where the offense stands compared to the rest of the nation. And they sure are struggling when they have the ball. Nothing good seems to happen when they're on offense. On the ground with a tailback. And they got him for a loss. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Second and 11. Ball on the 39. Number 14 with four wide receivers. And they hit him in the backfield. And they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. And there was absolutely no place for that quarterback to run on that play. Good job by this defense. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 40. Number 14 has four receivers lined up here. Back to pass. Across the middle. They'll bring him down. Well, he showed off his arm that time with a heck of a throw. They got to go for it here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He tries to spin. Juku. And he's taken down. And they come up huge on that play. Oh, he sure did. Hey, this guy's a tough guy, and he always seems to have a little extra when he needs it. the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. Tackle. A four-yard pickup by the fullback. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. They hand it off. Touchdown, come on! What do you say about that touchdown, Coach? He really banged and bullied his way in the end zone. That was a great touchdown. And he hits the PAT. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. for the kickoff. Six. Kicks it off. Number six. Fields it at the seven. At the 30. At the 40. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing for them last time. And maybe Spirit, you need to get out there and show what you're made out of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. They'll start this drive at the 45-yard line. They line up in an eye. They'll give it off here. Brought down. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 47. Penn State comes to the line with three wide. Here's the give. And they make the stop. Two-yard carry by the fullback. Right. 
It's third down and six to go. Ball right around midfield. Colorado brings in the nickel here. Steps up, throws it to the outside. And it falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Right, four and six. Ball on the 49 yard line. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 36 boots it way up there. Number 15 fields it at the 19. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shot at the 32. The Buffs come out showing three wide. They'll throw on first down. He steps up. Throws it to the outside. Tackle. A five-yard gain. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 37. Four wide. Drops back to pass. He's going right. It falls incomplete. The gunslinger couldn't hit his receiver on that pass. I wonder why. Could it have been because it was thrown in the next county? Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 37. Colorado sets up with four receivers. He drops back. Down the middle. Someone got a hand on it. And this one could be on the defense. Pass interference on the defense. 15 yard penalty. First down. They flagged the defender for interference. Yep, they saw him get there just before the ball for the penalty. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. Number 42, the lone back. A little misdirection. Brought down. The halfback runs for four yards. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. Colorado comes out in the shotgun. Here's a handoff left side. Nothing going on that one. That'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Colorado, seven, Penn State, nothing. It's third down and six to go. Ball in the 44. They'll bring in their dime package. Toss, and they make the stop. The running back gets two on the carry. up to punt it away. Number 29 boots it way up there. Number 18 calls for the fair catch. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First and 10, ball on the 14-yard line. One man backfield. Here's a pitch one side. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Great job by the defensive lineman here to get a paw on him and put him to the turf. Second it's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 10-yard yard line. The Buffalo bring in their dive package. Down the middle. Couldn't haul it in. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was, and it was a catchable ball. Throwing right at him. He just didn't catch it. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 10. The Nittany Lions come out in the ace formation, looking under heavy pressure. He goes downtown. 
Someone got a hand up. That was a dangerous throw. Oh, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach. But that had been an interception. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 15, back to return. He gets it away. Number 15 takes it at the 45. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the receiving team. The penalty is declined. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Penn State brings in their nickel package. They'll throw on first down. He lobs it. And that one's fallen incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball of the 29. They come out in a nickel. On the ground with the tailback. Tries to juke. Tackle. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a good job by that big offensive line. No, it really was, Brad. And also a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. First and ten. Ball on the 18. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. Batted ball. And the safety got a hand on it that time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Number 14 with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Number six picks it off. Not a good decision there. Why do he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. This quarterback is a gamer. He comes to play every game. and punch it in once they get to the red zone, Coach. Well, maybe this week they'll be able to find the end zone a little bit more often. On the ground, up the middle, and he's taken down. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. Second, Second and seven, seven coming up here. Ball, ball on their own seven. Yard. Going with the shotgun here. Drop back to pass. He's looking, steps up in the pocket, somehow gets the ball away. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the seven yard line. Penn State lines up with three receivers. He drops back. Steps up, looks, he's going right. Got it, at the 40, across midfield, at the 40. They'll bring him down. Oh my, what do you think of that one, Kirk? Boy, I tell you what, the quarterback delivered a perfect pass on that play and gave them more than enough for the first down. First and ten, ball on the 30. The Nittany Lions come out showing three wide. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. Second 
It's second down and nine to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Nittany Lions go with the eye formation. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Brought down. Not a lot on that one. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Buffalo line up with six defensive backs. Throws it to the outside. Finds his receiver. Penn State calls a timeout. First and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. He tosses it short. So it's second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. pass. He's going left. The ball is tipped. And it's incomplete. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive and they'll try to convert again here. They come out of a nickel. Throws back across field. Incomplete. And that was out of reach for his tight end. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up. And it's good. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. One great kick. Number five fields it in the end zone. I'm sure the coaches talked to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. They'll go to work at the 15 yard line. Drops back and pass. Throws this one out to the right. And he can't hang on to it. And he couldn't hang on to it. Tough break there. They had a good play on. The quarterback made the right decision, but the tight end just couldn't come up with a catch. Second and 10. Ball on their own 15. The Buffs line up in an eye formation. On the ground, the tailback. Tackle. Penn State takes a timeout. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 17. The Nittany Lions bring in their dive pack. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Penn State calls a timeout. Ready to punt this one away. Number 29 gets it off. Number 10. Number 10 fields it at the 50. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. They'll take over at the 49-yard line. 
Going with the shotgun here. They'll throw on first down. Down the middle. And he drops it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Second and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Colorado comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 49. The defense lines up with six DB. Here they come. Throws to the middle. It's tipped. Almost picked off. The quarterback really lucked out there. I thought they had a chance for an interception, but I'm sure they'll settle for the incompletion. It still was a good play. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Hangs it up high. Number 18 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 19-yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 19. And he's going to be sacked. So the linebacker will come up with a big sack there. Looked like a little confusion up front against a blitz. The quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball, and the pressure got to him. That's a good defensive play. Second and long. Ball on their own 12. The Buffalo with four receivers. Back to pass. Pumps once. He's in trouble. Somehow gets the ball away. The ball is tipped. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime. Colorado, seven. Penn State, three. Penn State got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 15 fields it in the end zone. Makes a move. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. The Buffs come out showing three wide. Hand off to the fullback. A little juke. They'll bring him down. A gain of one. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 21. The Buffalo go with the I formation. Wants to throw outside. And it's incomplete. He put too much on that throw. That's his big tight end, and he's definitely not a track star. I think the quarterback just overestimated his speed. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on their own 21. Colorado in a four-wide set. Drops back to pass. Pressure coming. And they get the sack. They came after him hard there. Yeah, they sure did. And Lee, I think the quarterback felt that pressure coming from every direction. Kirk, as I've always said, the best way to keep the pressure down and to help the quarterback is to run screens and draws. They send out the punting unit. He punts it. Number 10 fields it at the 48. 
Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Number 33 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Handoff up the middle. A little shake and bake move. And down he goes. Seven yards there. It's second down and three to go. Ball on the 35. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. He'll dump this one off. And it falls incomplete. That would have been a tough catch for the wide receiver. The intended receiver on the play. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Nittany Lions come to the line with their jumbo package. A little misdirection. He's got an open. Breaks one. And they make the stop. How about that conversion on third down? You've got to give credit to the offensive line. Good push by the guys up front. They're really working hard down in the trenches. Let me tell you, the biggest compliment you can give a coach is that his team is playing hard. And you're right. These guys are playing real hard. I mean real hard right now. It's first and ten. Ball on the 16. They're in the red zone where last time they came away with only a field goal. Brought down. Gain of two. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 14. Penn State sets up in the eye. And they'll run him again. Broke away from one. And he's taken down. About five yards there on the fullback carry. They line up in the jumbo set. Again with the run. Tackle. So he got enough for the first down there. You know, a nice play call there. They just kind of keep driving. Get your keys out. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Setting up the play action. Plays one out there to the end zone. So the tight end comes down with a big touchdown grab. the PAT. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. it off number 15 fields it in the end zone so the offense takes over and the last time they had the ball they had a tough time getting anything going they'll, they'll go to work at the 17 Colorado lines up in a double tight set. Up the middle. Gets past the tackler. And they make the stop. Gain of nine. Second 
Second and one. Ball on the 26. Colorado comes out with two tight ends. Nice play fake, looking, he's under pressure, and he's gonna come up with a sack. The linebacker just shot in there and took down the quarterback. He hardly had time to go through his progression before the fifth year senior was in his face. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Number 42 lines up in the deep back. High formation. They'll run the option. And now he pitches it. Big opening! And he's taken down. They do manage a few yards, but they'll still be faced with a fourth down. Well, I'm not sure about that play call, Brad. They line up to punt this one away. Number 29 gets it off. Number 10 fields it at the 41. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They'll take over at the 39. Three wideouts here. Little handoff. Sheds that one. And he's tackled. The back gets three on the carry. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 36-yard line. separated by a field goal as the third quarter comes to a close. Second and seven. Ball on the 36. Six DBs in the lineup. Throw short. Drop down. He fired that ball in there. Yeah, good execution there. Nice job of getting the first down on that pass. <laughs> They'll go with the run once again. And they make the stop. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 27. Colorado brings in the nickel here. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Spins up field. And he's taken down. They pick up two on the pass play. Third and six, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Buffs line up with six defensive backs. Drop back to pass. He's going left. It's tipped. Great play in the end zone by the cornerback. Man, oh man, this guy is some kind of athlete. He's a real playmaker out there on D. Lines up for the attempt that will extend their lead to more than a field goal. He gets it up. And it's right down the middle. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened.
start this one off. He kicks it. Number five, fields it at the three. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. Three wide outs here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. They get about five yards from the halfback. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Number 42 is a deep back as they line up in the eye. They'll bring him down, and the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Third and two. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Buffalo line up in a goal line formation. Toss to the right. Can he get to the sticks? And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He gets it off. Number 10 calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 38-yard line. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They'll set up shot at the 38. Number 33 lines up in the deep back, eye formation. They go with a toss. Spinning. And they make the stop. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. One man backfield. He jukes it. And he's taken down. Colorado takes a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. The Nittany Lions come to the line with their jumbo packing. They go with the run. Brought down. Colorado calls a timeout. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 47. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. Handoff up the middle. They'll bring him down. And not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. Third and four. This is the fifth play of this drive. Penn State comes out in the shotgun. Across the middle, got it. He do, and they make the stop. Colorado takes a timeout. Here are today's Red Zone players of the game, which is brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. There's the kneel down by the quarterback. It's second down and 12 to go. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. And 
handoff on the counter. Juke move. And down he goes. An eight-yard gain. Third and four. This is the eighth play of this drive. The defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal on their last red zone trip. And this one's all wrapped up. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? I'm sad to see this one in because it's a great game to watch. Colorado had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2005. We hope you join us again soon. Again, our final score, Penn State 13, Colorado 7.